Last minute bombshell. Arsenal confirms interest in signing young star Lamine Yamal, and an internal issue at Barcelona could open the door for this deal. Additionally, Arsenal has revealed an advantage over Tottenham in the race for a 30 million pound star as the player's agent shares the dream of a transfer to the Gunners. Meanwhile, Mikel Arteta has hinted that he is preparing a surprise for the upcoming clash against Liverpool. Stay with me until the end of the video to check out the latest Arsenal news straight from the Emirates Stadium. But before that, if you're as passionate about Arsenal as we are, don't waste any time and subscribe to our channel right now to stay updated on everything happening with the greatest team in the Premier League. And without further ado, let's dive into today's top news. Arsenal are reportedly setting their sights on an audacious move for Barcelona's teenage sensation, Lamin Yamal. At just 17, Yamal has quickly ascended to the heights of European football, establishing himself as one of the most promising young attackers in the world. His breakthrough at Barcelona last season, followed by a stellar performance in Spain's victorious Euro 2024 campaign has made him an integral part of the national team and an invaluable asset for Barcelona. While signing Yamal would be a monumental feat for Arsenal, prying him away from Barcelona where he is already considered their brightest talent since Lionel Messi, poses significant challenges. Mikel Arteta's interest reflects his admiration for Yamal's abilities and potential fit in Arsenal's squad. Though the Gunners would face fierce competition and financial hurdles in any future attempt to bring the young star to North London. According to Miguel Delaney of The Independent, Arsenal and Liverpool are monitoring Barcelona's prized talent, Lamine Yamal, with Barcelona's financial instability potentially making a deal feasible in the future. Delaney notes that both Premier League clubs greatly fancy Yamal, even though a transfer currently appears unlikely. Barcelona has been grappling with financial constraints that have led them to pursue various monetary strategies, including activating economic levers to raise funds. How However, these options may be nearly exhausted, and the club could soon be forced into player sales to ease their financial strain. As a result, Yamal, alongside other young stars like Gavi and Pedri, may eventually draw serious transfer bids if Barcelona's financial woes continue. For Arsenal and Liverpool, Yamal represents a generational talent, and both clubs will be keen to seize the opportunity if the young winger becomes available. How much would Lamine Yamal cost Arsenal? Barcelona president Joan Laporta recently stated that he turned down a £208 million offer from Paris Saint-Germain for Lamine Yamal, which, if accepted, would have set a new world record transfer fee. This suggests that if Barcelona are eventually compelled to sell Yamal, they would expect a similarly high bid. For Arsenal, however, such a massive investment might be difficult to justify, especially with Bukayo Saka already established as their star right winger. Accommodating both players would require a major tactical shift Shift, such as moving one of them to the opposite flank, an adjustment that might not suit their playing styles. While Yamal's exceptional talent is undeniable, the high price tag and positional overlap with Saka may make Arsenal hesitant to pursue the transfer unless they are certain of the impact he could bring in another role on the pitch. Agent gives Arsenal a boost in race for Palmyra's defender Vitor Race. According to TBR, Arsenal, Tottenham Hotspur, and Chelsea are all in the race to sign Palmeiras' young prodigy, Vitor Reis. Manchester City is also interested, along with European giants Bayer Leverkusen, AC Milan, and Juventus. However, as per agent Claudio Fiorito, CEO of PNP Sport Management Brazil, any club capable of offering Champions League football is likely to be a highly attractive destination for the 18-year-old Reis. We try to work on this in a very natural way, also because of the athlete's anxiety so that it doesn't interfere with his day-to-day -day life so that he can always stay focused. Fiorito explains to CNN, Viter has a dream of playing in the Champions League and we will work to make this happen somehow. I think he has already planted this idea in his head in the last few years and the results are starting to appear. TBR have been told that Arsenal have been following Vitor Reyes very closely in recent months. Jakob Kivior will be allowed to leave the Emirates in 2025. The Poles' reputation diminished further by his error in the 2-0 defeat to Bournemouth, opening the door for Arsenal to replenish their backline with the Brazil under-17 international. And as far as races camp are concerned, it is nothing short of inevitable that the teenage powerhouse will be boarding a flight across the Atlantic at some point in the near future. Palmeira is expected to demand £30 million for Tottenham and Chelsea target. It is inevitable that Vitor will have this experience of European football, Fiorito adds. 
the time, the values, and the way in which this will be constructed, we will deal with it together, in unity with Palmeiras. Race's exit must be a natural process that is good for everyone. The player's dream and desire must be respected. We have the responsibility to find the balance between one proposal or one possibility and another so that he and his family can decide what his future holds. At the end of the day, he is the one who will play. I think all footballers have the right to make their dreams come true, whether it is playing in the Champions League or having a financial need. In the end, we always work to make this a reality. TBR has heard that while Palmeiras are in no rush to sell, it is not out of the question that a deal could be agreed for Reyes as early as January. Joao Paulo Sampaio, the head of Palmeiras' academy, believes that any sale is likely to be delayed until after next summer's revamped Club World Cup, however. Arsenal starlets Ethan Nwaneri and Miles Lewis Skelly could start against Liverpool, according to Mikel Arteta. Arsenal's injury crisis ahead of their match against Liverpool has intensified the spotlight on teenage sensations Ethan Nwaneri and Miles Lewis Skelly. Both products of Arsenal's Hale End Academy, the duo have earned reputations as some of the brightest talents in the club's recent history. Nwaneri, who became the Premier League's youngest player under Mikel Arteta two years ago, has since been eased into first team action with occasional appearances off the bench. Lewis Skelly, on the other hand, impressed on his unexpected senior debut against Manchester City, handling the challenging circumstances with maturity. With key players sidelined, Arteta has not ruled out the possibility of deploying one of the teenagers in a high-stakes match against Liverpool. Both Nwaneri and Lewis Skelly have shown resilience and readiness when called upon, and this could be their chance to step up amid Arsenal's depleted squad. Speaking in his pre-match press conference, Arteta claimed that both Nwaneri and Lewis Skelly can be considered first-team players rather than youngsters. They are there, you know. They are in contention. They're always giving us the option and the possibility to start the game, he stated. Miles came on the other night, and he did really well. Ethan the same. So they're first-team players, they're with us, and we treat them and we value in the same way as any other player. When asked if the pair could play without fear if selected, Arteta was confident they would deliver. That's certainly something that they don't feel much, especially those two, Arteta replied, and that's something really really positive. It brings the crowd together as well. It creates energy in the team, does something really good. It's about, yes, thriving in the best moment with the right players around you, which is something really important as well. No, not scared to play them well. We did it in a Champions League game the other day, so he added. Arsenal's matches against struggling Leicester City and Southampton before the international break appeared to be prime opportunities for Mikel Arteta to hand Ethan Nwaneri or Miles Lewis Skelly their first Premier League starts. While Nwaneri did impress with a brief cameo against Leicester, he has yet to be trusted with a starting role, and this decision now places Arteta in a dilemma ahead of the Liverpool clash. Fans have been vocal about wanting to see the teenagers given a chance, especially as Arsenal grapples with injuries and inconsistent attacking performance. Performances. However, the pressure of a high-stakes match against Liverpool makes Arteta hesitant to rely on his young stars from the start. Proponents argue that Nwanari, in particular, could bring a fresh dynamic to the attack, potentially alleviating some of the scoring struggles. Despite the excitement around their potential, it's unlikely either Nwanari or Lewis Skelly will start against Liverpool. Arteta's cautious approach may see him favor experience in what promises to be a demanding fixture. Well folks, those were the main news for today. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay updated on everything happening with our beloved team, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel now and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for joining us, and until the next video.